Are those your babies? Are those your babies? You need some pets? Yeah. They're getting big. So it'll be bigger than you do. I know. You want to be famous? Okay, here's her, <laughs> her 15 seconds of fame. The puppies are two weeks old, so that means we're at the end of our ENS and ESI training. Um, I've touched base on previous videos what ENS and ESI stand for, but throughout the video, I'll go through it one more time. Um, it's a great program that we follow. It helps puppies, um, you know what? I'm just going to show you in the video. I don't need to explain it here. Oh, yeah. Oh, trying to eat me? All right. Well, come join us for the puppy's last ENS and ESI training session. Right. So, what is ENS? ENS is early neurological stimulation training, which involves applying gentle stressors to a very young animal for short periods of time. It is thought to improve their stress response later in life. Now, there are about five different stressors that we do apply. Um, one of them is this one that you see right here. You just hold them erect. You just hold them up in a perpendicular to the ground with both hands. Um, you do this for about three to five seconds because once again, it's just a very, very mild stressor. You don't want it to become an overpowering stress or something that you're going to make them afraid of later in life. You can see some do well, some don't like it. Another one of the stressors we do is you just roll them over onto their back. You want their nose facing the ceiling and all four paws in the air. <laughs> some of them, as you can see, don't really like it and all four paws are going everywhere. But the sensation of not having their, their feet firmly planted on the ground is a mild stressor for a puppy this young. In discussions on how to best support a puppy's development and welfare, factors such as the puppy's growth or time spent with its mother and litter mates are often considered. Recently, the amount and type of environmental enrichment provided to puppies in the forms of toys, walks, playtimes, outdoors, and interactions with humans and other animals have also become important considerations. Simple interactions in a puppy's life may additionally increase its ability to learn and cope with successfully with stressors later on, thus leading to better welfare outcomes. Oh, so here is another one that we do. This one is head down, exactly what it says. It looks scary, but it's really not. You're just gonna hold them on their back like you were for the first one and tilt them upside down. The feeling of being upside down for a puppy, very, very strange. It is a mild stressor, but as you can see, most of them they're in a milk coma right now, so they're not too upset by it, except for this guy. He was upset. So also in the program, we do ESI, which is Early Scent Introduction. It is a training program for puppies uh, designed to enhance their ability to identify and react to specific scents. Um, each day we introduce them to a new strong scent uh, for brief intervals and we record their reactions. Um, today we were using cinnamon and you just hold it about an inch from their nose and you, you wait to see if they have any interest either moving towards it and having a positive reaction or as you can see moving away from it having a negative reaction to, to that scent. Um, but then there are some puppies who are neither interested or disinterested. 
but it is just a good a good way to expose puppies to new scents uh, at, a, at a young age. It's really, really good for potential therapy dogs, service animals, um, dogs that are in a, a working environment, but also just great for, for your classic household pet too. So one of the other ENS um, stimulations that we do is a thermal stimulation. So on a damp towel um, that has cold water, you can place it in the fridge for a few minutes to get it nice and cool. We place the puppies on the towel on all fours and, and don't restrain any movement. So if they want to walk off, they're more than welcome to walk off. And you let them sit for about three to five seconds. The, the change in temperature is, is very new to them because at this age they have a hard time regulating their own temperature still. So being on something cool and having the, the sensation of cold or warm and then moving off of it to get um, re-regulated is a, once again a mild stressor for a puppy this young. But as you can see, most of them aren't too phased. Some of them will sit there for a little longer than five seconds and I have to take them off and put the next one on. But it's a very, very good mild stressor for a young puppy to be introduced to. With these mild stressors, we don't want to overstress or overstimulate the puppies. So we try to keep them as short and brief as possible. Just to help aid the puppies in their, their coping skills. And here we go, here's the last one. He wasn't too phased. Now with the puppies also being two weeks, I also added a quick nail trim into this tactile ENS um, segment. Because their little claws are getting a bit long and to save poor Juvia, I am cutting their claws. But once again, this is the end of our ENS training. So this is the last tactile stimulation that we're doing. Now the tactile stimulation it, it's what it, it sounds like. Um, you'll want to tickle between the, the toe pads. You're supposed to use a Q-tip. I just use my fingers. Um, touch their ears gently. You run your hand down their tail. You pet their head. Um, things that are going to be happening in their new home. There are a lot of dogs who don't like their feet being touched, their ears being touched, and their tail being touched. It's just sensations they're not comfortable with. So we introduce these puppies to those minor stressors at a very young age. Um, so in hopes when they get older, it's nothing that is going to be uh, a major stressor for them. It's just going to be something that they've they've had to do and something that they've been used to since <laughs> since they were just a couple days old. But a few of them were a little cranky. They didn't want to get up and get their, their mani-pedi. And that is okay. You know what? I'd be cranky too if somebody picked me up while I was sleeping and tried to cut my nails. But... Uh, maybe I wouldn't be cranky because I wouldn't mind <laughs> having a mani petty right now. Wake me up for a mani petty. I'm, I'm here for it. But most of them are, are pretty good. This one, she just didn't like the sensation of the nail clippers um, on her nails. <laughs> it's a little upset. Now we've been doing ENS and ESI training for the past five years, I believe, um, and I have seen a great outcome with our puppies since doing it. They have been um, a lot more confident, I'd like to say, with all the, the introductions that come with, with ENS and ESI training. I'm sure Juvia is going to be very happy that these nails are cut. And just like that, they're another week older, 
and another week closer to finding our new homes. Well, the puppies are now two weeks old. Their eyes are starting to open. Not everybody's eyes are open yet, but by the next week, we'll be starting puppy mush and on to our next set, set of training. But until then, let's just take a little nap.